Hello all, welcome to channel Tech Tutorials Learn by Doing. In this tutorial series, we will learn about Python from beginner to advanced along with the projects. Now, let's get started for today's tutorial. In this video, we are going to learn about Google Colab. Google Colab is an online platform in which we can write our code and we can run it. We can even save our Python codes in Google Drive and run it when we require. In order to use Google Colab, you should have a Google account. Then after that, go to the new tab and search for Google Colab. Google Colab. It will give the link colab.resource.google.com. Click on that link. The code in Google Colab is just like a Jupyter notebook. If you have used it earlier, let me cancel it. This Google Colab, this particular code is associated with this account. Let me switch to Tech Tutorial account so that I can use it later and create a new notebook. It will take us some while. Okay, the new notebook has been created. Let me give its name as Tech Tutorial Demo. Tech Tutorial underscore demo here we can write the code let us write a equals to 5 b equals to 3 and print a plus b it, will, it should give 8 a plus b then in order to run this code click on this icon we can even add the text also we can see that the 8 has been printed we can even add the text now let me add the text now we are doing multiplication multiplication then let me add a new code print a into p it should print the value of 15 the value of 15 is printed here let me write and print hello world here hello world and click this item to round hello world has been printed now let me write another code to print false 10 odd numbers or i in range 1 to 11 print 2 into i minus 1 and let me run this code we can see that the numbers have been printed here we can also save this we can locate it in the drive also so that we can use it later for our future reference we can see that our code has been placed here inside my drive collab notebook take tutorial demo let me go to the this tab again we can save this file as an dot py notation or dot i python notation also for that go to file Go to download and on download we can save it either as .py file or .python notebook file let me save it as .py file let it be as this location and let me open it to show the code let me open it with notepad plus plus we can see that the code is here a equals to b 5 b equals to 3 and we have printed a plus b then we have printed a into b and we have printed hello world also and finally we had printed odd numbers so that is for today guys if you like my video give like button and subscribe to my channel so that you do not miss our future tutorials thank you